morning, meet YouTubers. It's Lady Grave Dancer, and I'm once again at work. I'm probably gonna have a few videos where you see this type of scenery, which is like my calendar. It's it's weird because I actually have nice looking areas in my office, but this is where my chair is. So while I'm here at work this week, I thought I'd get a few videos done. Sorry. Um, and right now is my lunch break, so hopefully I won't get interrupted by anybody that I don't need to answer the door for because normally I wouldn't be here. So I thought I would do a couple of videos. I should have filled up my water glass. I showed this on Instagram. My aunt bought me this glass. It says Little Miss Fucking Sunshine. It's my favorite water mug. Anyways, I don't know why I had to share that, but I did. Um, today I'm going to do a video on snake skin. I'm going to show you how to make a snake skin love powder. And also explain how it had begun as one of my recipes for money magic, but it turned into a love powder, which I still use it the other way as well. But I'm going to explain that to you in the other video. This video is just going to be covering uses for snake skin, and then um, I'm going to post right after this. I'm going to edit them at the same time and try to post them up together this afternoon. And the other one is going to show you how to actually make the um, love powder and um, some uses for it. So I'm going to do that when I get home today. So I want to get on the ball with snake skin uses. Um, we've already talked about the love powder I'm going to make tonight. So we can go ahead and start there. And um, I don't really hear people talking much about it in love magic. One thing is I feel that the snake skin is a protectant. That's, we're gonna, we're, while we're talking about snake skin today, we're going to go over protection spells. So I always feel like whenever you're doing anything for love magic or to keep your family together, the protection should be involved in it. So that's one of the reasons why that I think that snake skin is really good in love magic. I feel snakes are a very strong animal. And I feel that the strength, I mean, they're basically all muscle. I mean, muscle scales and bones that's what a snake is made of so i feel like it also is good to strengthen the love in a family or if you're having problems um within the relationship and you're trying to bring in some strength and i feel like a snake is very helpful with that at the same time if you feel like someone is trying to get in the middle of your marriage or your relationship nine out of every ten people you come across have some kind of a, I don't want to say fear because not everybody fears snakes. A lot of people do, but not everybody. But they do have this cringe effect where there's a slight moment of fear. We're going to go with fear. Let's just go with fear. It makes more sense. Um, fear is not the word I'm looking for, but I can't, I can't find it. So using snake skin in your magic will help scare these people away, keep them away. They won't know why, but they'll know that they don't want to be around you in your relationship. They want, they don't want nothing to do with it. So snake skin, snake skin is good to use in those sort of things when it comes to love magic and of course protection. Uh, if you watch my videos, you know that I use a protection bubble that kind of keeps my house camouflaged. I don't like my house to be noticed or seen. I, I don't like it to be the, the house that pops out on the street, but because of how I decorate in my gardening, my house does kind of pop out. So I like to camouflage my house and I do use snake skin when I'm doing the perimeter of my property. Not every single month, but at least three months out of the year when I'm doing my property, snake skin will be added to the powder mix that I put out. I also use snake skin on the mirrors that I have buried within the yard to help deflect people from looking at my house. Um, occasionally you'll come over and you just might see snake skin just kind of hanging out somewhere in the house. To me, it just helps with the camouflage and effect. I also keep snake skin in my poison ring, which I've gained weight and it's not fitting me very well right now. I used to wear it here, but I can wear it here. It just bugs me here. So I'm going to have to get me another one. Anyways, yeah, fatty fatty. Anyhow, I've always kept, and I think I showed it in some past videos, always kept snake skin in the ring as a protection but i also feel that snake skin is good to help you attract other witches there's such an energy to it at least for me that whenever i'm feeling you know the need to attract other witches to me to because you know i'm a solitary witch so from time to time i do want to interact with other witches that is something that i kept in my um that i kept in my poison ring 
but mostly for protection. It's kept, keep it on you if you have like a locket that you can close, you can put it in your locket. It, it's really good. It's really, really, really good for protection. And it's also really good, let's say that you're going in for a job interview, keeping snakeskin on you is really good to help you with your um, words. It's really good to help you with confidence and confidence spells if you're going up for that raise or if you're going to go ask that girl out or that boy out that you, you know, you're kind of scared to ask out. It's really good in confidence, like ambulance that you keep on you to help you with that confidence. It just kind of boosts you up. I do use snake skin in my shut up oil. I made a whole video on how to make shut up oil and I do use that because for me, a, the snake is such a fierce creature that like I said, the majority of people, if you're walking down the street and the snake goes by, they're gonna jump back or they're gonna stop. They're gonna avoid the path. They're not gonna approach it like it's a puppy. So um, I do like to use it in my shut up oil. <laughs> a snake skin, uh, which I thought about showing this in the video, but again, I don't really know what kind of videos to make anymore. I'm just kind of winging it these days and just like doing requests and snake skin has been being asked for me of me for a while so I thought I'd go ahead and do it but um if you grind up snake skin and add it to your salt peter and while you're doing your spell work and you have a cold disc burning at the side I don't know how many of you that do that but I like to use salt peter while while I'm spelling just to throw a little bit at a time on top of the cold disc just to bring in that fire element just a because I don't always use candles and that saltpeter, you just drop a little bit of it onto a cold disc and it's, it just sparks like insanely. And adding snakeskin powder to that, or even, you know, I love my rosemary. Rosemary to that, adding it and letting it just burn, it brings that bang that sometimes you need in your spell work. It's really good, very simple. If you have dry snake skin and you can grind it up and then add it to the saltpeter, then there you go. If you have a coffee grinder, I have a coffee grinder especially used for my craft that I don't use to actually grind coffee in my kitchen. And I will grind it up like that. Anyways, it's really easy to do and you mix it up. It's The snake skin is already quite magical because you're adding that snake to your whole situation, but then you can enchant the saltpeter. And, and have that cold disc just burning over there on the side so when you're you're doing spell work and you could just kind of I mean I can't even explain to you how amazing it feels when you're you're spelling you're doing your works over you're doing your workings and you have this cold disc over here and you just add a little bit of spark and it just goes it's just the whole energy it, the vibe of it is just like bam so good so good I'm sorry I'm running into <laughs> make a fax and okay interruptions of course I'm at, I'm at work I'm at work and even if I'm at home the dogs are barking and the kids are screaming so you know how my videos go where were we what was the last thing I said I don't remember oh if you um have someone who has wronged you and you know that they have a fear of snakes snakes would definitely snake skin would definitely be a way of getting back at them you can even use the whole snake skin to wrap and make a doll baby because you, you know I don't know if people realize this, but to use a, a, a doll baby, which is what I call them, some people will call them voodoo dolls or whatever they want to call them, you don't have, they don't have to look like a person at all. It could just be a thing. <laughs> it doesn't have to look like a person. Um, my friend Nicole, she just had a pair of underwear that she wrapped up. It didn't look like anything but a wrapped up pair of underwear and it worked amazingly. So. Um, you can use snake skin to do that or you can grind up the snake skin and melt it into wax and mold yourself a doll baby and you can use their fear against them yeah you know i like to cover both areas because i don't judge how people practice at all so i like to cover all of it uh, it's just the same as if someone is scared of dogs and they've wronged you you can use dog hair you know or dog nail clippings in it and use that dog fear against them um birds people there's a lot of people scared of birds you can use feathers that you find to do the same thing um we're talking about snakes here so we're going to go back to that point point. and if you're able to and, and i'm talking about general snake skin I mean, most people are able to get a hold of boa snake skin because that's mostly what i have i do have some rattlesnake snake skin but if you're able to get a hold of like a rattlesnake is poisonous if you're able to get a hold of snake skin from a, a a venomous snake then you can definitely 
do things that are not of the nice nature to people who have wronged you or you feel that you need to get back at. It, you can take that snake skin to a different level than what we're talking about in this video. So if you're able to get a hold of that type of snake skin, then more power to you. Um, I know some people are scared of snakes, so it might be hard for them to use snake skin in a positive way anyway. But then you have people who love them. I have several friends who just love snakes and several friends who own snakes. So they would probably be more able to use the snake skin and love spells and, and more in a positive nature. I think all of us can use it in protection in general because it just is a very, it just feels that way. Um, me, I have a respect for all animals, so I can go either way with it. I can live with a snake or not live with a snake. It, it won't really bother me that I'm not scared of them. It, you know, I don't love them to death, so I'm just kind of like in the middle. So I can pretty much use them for any type of magic. Use people's fears against them when you're working with your magics. Just want to throw that little tidbit out there. And what I mean, because I don't think I'm very, I very, I didn't explain that very well. I, I can't backtrack and look at what I just said. When I'm saying use their fears against them, you if someone was scared of a snake, dog or bird, examples we use, and you use part of that animal to make a doll baby out of them, you can scare, you can use it to scare them, but you can also use it to make them sick. You can also use it to make them lose their job. You can also use it to make them separate from their loved one. You want to use their fear energy to get what you want, if that makes sense. I hope we're does. talking about snake skin. So the obvious one is transformation because what happens? The snake sheds off that skin and ends up with nice, beautiful, shiny, new scales, skin, whatever. Um, so transformation is definitely something that is, is good for it. If you're, let's say that you feel like your path is changing. You might be a little concerned about it. You might not really know which way it's going, but you know what you're doing now doesn't feel like what you need to be doing. With your divination so you can get an idea of where your path is going. Um, I always turn to divination when I need answers. You can use it in incense. Uh, I know some people were saying at one point that it's toxic to burn snake skin. I've never heard that. And I've burned even rattlesnake skin before, and I never had anything happen to me. But you want to be careful with anything that you breathe in. Uh, I'm not saying that it smells good, obviously, but you can add oils and stuff and add it to other herbs and make it a better thing. And you know, a little piece of snake skin can a snake skin this big can make go in incense that would fill this whole cup up and be just as potent. So you don't have to use an entire snake skin and one batch of incense you're still going to get the same effect and i forgot where i was going i'm sorry i got sidetracked for a minute because i know some people use way too much ingredients and i'm like you don't need that much slow down back up anyhow so yes transformation that's what i was saying if you feel like your path is going a different way and you're wanting to see where it's going you're feeling uncomfortable and you need some advice you can use snake skin with your divination to find out what's going on and where you're going or if you're wanting to make changes and you are making changes and you are doing workings to help you make these changes you can use snake skin in this you can carry it on you have it an amulet just to help you get through it if you're looking just to change your lifestyle in general if you're looking for a new house if you're looking for a new job if you just I don't want to say if you're looking for a new spouse, that's horrible. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. But if you're looking for these things, these are changes. And snake skin, snake skin is really good to use for changing. So you can use it for pretty much anything. It's, it's really good to know somebody who has a snake that you can get snake skin from. Trust me. I'll share a little bit of something with you that I've worked on the last two years of myself. I mean, all you see in the videos is what we show you. You know, that, and that's for anybody who vlogs, like I vlog, I put my family vlogs up, I do videos like this. So you only see what we want you to see. And I have to say that I don't, I don't always, when someone makes me mad, I get really mad. And it was something that I wanted to work on. I mean, I've been working on it for a long time. I'm nowhere near like I used to be when I was in my 20s. And definitely not like I was when I was in high school. You don't even want to know who that person was like. But sometimes I would feel myself get hot for no reason. 
And one of the things that I have been working on for like the last two years, I guess, and it's also a form of shadow work because obviously anger issues don't just happen. It comes from things that go on in life. But I use, I have used it in a growth working that I've been doing. I don't want to share a lot of it because I'm still doing it. It, I've made wax babies of myself with snake skin and I've been doing shadow work along with working it and then I'll burn away the wax babies and helping me control my anger and grow and be able to um, forgive more and ex I don't want to say accept because I've always accepted people for who they were. I've always been a very accepting person for people's beliefs and stuff but I think be more accepting after the forgiveness because it kind of goes hand in hand. Um, to where if I was done wrong, like really wrong by somebody, I would just cut them out. And, I, you know, I'm working past getting that. So I am using snake skin as a growth, you would call it. So I am using snake skin as a growth and renewal process that I'm going through. And I'm changing my life with that. And again, I'm still doing it. I'm still working it. So I'm not sharing every little part of it, but I will come and share my journey whenever I get to the end of this. I mean, you should always work on yourself, but when I get to the end of this working, um, I'll come and share the journey that I had with it. And uh, yeah, I'll come and share when that time comes. I'll share more. Um, not to say that, again, not to say that I'm going to be done working on myself in general because life is always going to throw stuff at you and you're always going to have to work past them. I'm just talking about this particular working once I get past working it um, I'm hoping to be done with it by the end of the, the, the year like um, I know a lot of people don't like to celebrate Christmas but it's like my favorite time of the year I love how cold it is I like the energy that's out there and I'm hoping by the 31st of December to burn my last doll baby in this working so fingers crossed that that it works because if it doesn't feel like I'm done then I'm not gonna be done anyhow this video is getting too long because I keep rambling so if you're going through a breakup, if you're getting a divorce, if you have a bad marriage, and these are things you're trying to heal from, if you've lost someone and you're trying to heal from it and you're trying to grow and um, renew yourself and feel better about yourself. I don't know if renew is the proper word for it, but that's the one I'm using. Um, snake skin is definitely something that is, is good and useful. I feel strongly about that. This one and that's sex magic. I think a lot of people think sex magic is definitely... Sorry, I'm getting a text message. Uh, okay, just a second. Trina Bina is emailing me. I'm going to check it in just a second. Um, sex magic. Obviously, I think people think men automatically because a snake, you know, a, a, a penis, you know, I think they automatically think that it's a muscle. But, which is good yes absolutely it's like snake skin is like the uh, magical viagra you can use it in your your spell work and and help get that more solid than it usually is you know because sometimes men need help but at the same time it's also good for women it helps women when they have unfaithful men yes you heard me unfaithful men having using snake skin in magic that pertains to sex can all right, guys, you are not going to like to hear this, so do not listen. I'm trying to see how I can say it without getting flagged by YouTube because 25 of my videos have been flagged by YouTube because of the way I talk. Um, I, my section protection, my no, my sex love spell incense got flagged. I mean, I've had a lot of my videos flagged because of the things I talk about. But women, you can use snake skin to keep your man faithful, to keep him in control, to where if he tries to sleep with another woman, it will be... You know what I mean? So it would be something that you would want to do. There's several ways that you could do this. I'm just going to throw a few out there. You know, this video is too long. I hate making long videos. I'm so sorry. I can't keep a video under 20 minutes. Okay. You can use two candles, your birthstone color, his birthstone color, wrap it together with snake skin and burn it together with that intention that he cannot have sex with someone else. You can have your picture underneath it. I think it is very important to do the birthstone colors because it kind of represents you both. And then having the picture underneath it is really good too. And then once you burn it all down, snake skin, wax, picture is all there together. Then you could put it in a, I like to use uh, paper bags, but you could put it in a jar if you want to and put it in the freezer. 
and that way the spell has worked it's frozen it's not going forward to where it will hurt his penis forever and ever like more damage won't be caused it's, it's frozen to where you want the spell to be because you can do do you can do more damage than that if you want to we're not going to talk about that in this video so I like to put it in the freezer to hold it where it's at. This is where we are. You can only have sex with me. You're frozen in time. We're together. You can also use the figures, man and woman figures, if you like. I mean, those are more expensive and it's not really necessary. And if you don't want to use candles, which I would recommend candles. I'm only going to recommend candles in that type of magic because it gets more complicated with other stuff. And this video is already long enough. So that's a really good way to keep your man faithful. Sorry guys, but I had to throw it out there. <laughs> but men, yes, there is actual liquor that you can buy out there that have snakes in it. I have a friend whose man keeps a bottle in his house and he does take shots of it and he says it works. So snakes, snake skin is very good. I'm not recommend you go find in the liquor, but if you do, hey, you're a grown man, grown woman, do what you want to do. Um, but snake skin is very good to use for sex magic. Help your man stay strong and help him stay faithful. Um, I think that's all I have for this video because, again, I'm going to do um, love magic with, uh, and I'm going to show you how to make the snake powder, and I'm going to anoint a candle, and I'm just going to show you how to show you how to use it. And um, I'm going to post that right after this video. So this one is going to be called Magical Snake Skin. And the next video is going to be called um, Love and Sex with Snake Skin. Oh man, I'm probably going to get flagged from YouTube if I put sex in it. I'm going to put Love and Snake Skin. 25 of my videos, y'all. Because there was more. But then I started fighting them and sending YouTube emails saying you know what you're saying is wrong like my cough lozenges like why would you take that off what what is bad about that but um apparently if you use a lot of bad language and stuff like that they're they're flagging your videos i mean i understand the big people who are making money off youtube maybe that's what you need to be doing but us little folk who don't really make anything at all and who are just here to have interactions leave us alone we're not hurting nobody Anyways, I don't want to rant about that. <laughs> um, yeah, so the next video will be love with snakeskin. Our actual love spell with snakeskin. Something like that. It'll be posted next. Alright guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you at the next video. As always, blessed be. Bye.